And now for Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. Okay, what's the best Martin Fisher box? Just about the biggest argument since Ford and Chevy. There are two schools of thought. The long box and the short box. Long box people say, well, it's really easy, then you have a bait chamber, which is great. No, no doubt about it, having a bait chamber is awesome. They also, the long box people say that because these animals are, are weasels and they, they are programmed to search out inside of uh, holes and crevices and tunnels and all that, that they like, they like the long box, that they're, they're much more comfortable. And that's why the trap is set so far back in here, is that they're already committed into the box. I don't know. I have, I have a bunch of both of them. Either this style or this style. And the reason being is because I can haul so many more of them. Uh, matter of fact, I mean, these are designed just to be like this. I can, I can, prob I can haul at least twice as many as I could of, of square boxes of the same size. The plastic ones fit even tighter. The plastic ones here, I could probably put a half a dozen in this height. Uh, advantages and disadvantages, the plastic ones, the bears can knock it off the tree a hundred times and you can pick it up and put it back on. These will get tore apart eventually. Both of them have the disadvantage of not having the bait chamber. This one here I have some screen on the back side. But what I do instead of the bait chamber is I just use a piece of, of uh, screen. I put my bait in there and I take and shove this over top of it, holds it in place. The screen stops me from losing my bait probably 80% of the time. Works good. Plastic wood, long, short, you're never going to have enough. That was Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week.